Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, we are going to learn all about the use of to have forms. Well, when we say to have, we've got to learn about three words, have, has and had. So our lesson today will focus on the use of have, has and had. Let's get started. To begin with, let me first tell you how we use this have and has. Many people have a confusion about when to use have and when to use has. With subjects that begin with I, we, you and they, we use have. So we say I have, we have, you have and they have. We also use this have with plural nouns. When we talk about children, we say children have, people have, trees have, books have. And when we are talking about the subject he, she and it, we use has, he has, she has, it has. And when we also talk about singular nouns, we use has. So when we say child, child has, a tree has, a book has, an animal has. So have and has can be used with different subjects depending on whether it is singular or plural. But had does not have this distinction. You can use had with all the subjects because here had refers to the past. Now let's go to the uses of have and has first and then we shall learn about the uses of had. The first use of have and has is to show possession or to say that you own something or you know maybe you possess something. For example, I have a bicycle. I have a bicycle. He has a car. She has a bike. Or you can say birds have wings. Animals have tails. A house has a roof. My house has a garden. A house has doors and windows. A car has four wheels. So look at all these sentences. You're talking about what is owned or possessed by something or someone. Now the second use of have and has is when you want to talk about a relationship you have with someone or something. For example, we have a pet dog. So you have a pet dog. I have two siblings. I have two siblings. He has many friends. He has many friends. So in these sentences we are talking about relationships. And we can also use have and has when we want to talk about a quality. For example, he has a lot of energy. He has a lot of energy. She has a lot of knowledge. I have interest in music. The students have a lot of enthusiasm. I have a lot of work. And you can also say she has a good dress sense. He has a good sense of humor. So look at all these sentences where you use a quality with have or has. You can also use an adjective with a noun. For example, you can say she has beautiful eyes. Or you can say she has long hair. He has a round face. So all these are physical attributes. You can also talk about places. Delhi has many beautiful monuments. Many beautiful monuments. 
New York has many tall buildings. So in all these sentences, you're talking about the qualities. So what are the uses of have and has? With possession or to say that you own something with relationships and you can also use have and has with qualities. You can combine it even with adjectives. We also have negative forms for this. If you say I have a car, this is an affirmative sentence. What is the negative form? We say I don't have a car. And when you want to ask a question, the interrogative form, do you have a car? And suppose you say she has a bike. What is the negative form? She doesn't have a bike. And the question would be, does she have a bike? Another example, I have many friends. The negative would be, I don't have many friends. And when you want to ask a question, do you have many friends? And with qualities, she has a lot of energy. She doesn't have a lot of energy. Does she have a lot of energy? He has interest in studies. He doesn't have interest in studies. Does he have interest in studies? She has got talent. She doesn't have talent. Does she have talent? I have a lot of work. I don't have a lot of work. Do I have a lot of work? Or you can say, do you have a lot of work? She has a good dress sense. She doesn't have a good dress sense. Does she have a good dress sense? He has a good sense of humor. He doesn't have a good sense of humor. Does he have a good sense of humor? So when you make the negative forms, you use doesn't or don't. Don't have or doesn't have. And you want, when you want to ask questions, you use do or does, followed by have. So with I, we, you and they, you use don't have. With he, she, it, you use doesn't have. So it again depends on the subject. And the questions with I, we, you, they, it begins with do I have, do you have, do we have, or do they have. With does, does he have, does she have, does it have. And when you start practicing these sentences, you will be able to use this very, very easily. Now let's come to the next have form that is had. How do you use had? How do you use had? We use had only when we are talking to the talking about the past. When you're referring, when we are referring to the past. For example, I had a desktop before. I had a desktop before. What is the meaning of a desktop which you keep on the table? I had a desktop before, but now I have a laptop. I had a very small cell phone before. But now I have a smartphone. Or you can say, I had many friends in my childhood, but now I don't have friends. She had a lot of energy when she was young. Now she doesn't have energy because she's old. So these are all ways in which you can use had. I had a lot of work yesterday. Now you can change this into negative sentences and questions as well. So how do you change them to negative sentences and questions? I had many friends. I didn't have many friends before. Did you have friends, many friends before? I had a holiday yesterday. I didn't have a holiday yesterday. Did you have a holiday yesterday? Then you can say, I had a desktop before. 
I didn't have a desktop before. Did you have a desktop before? I had an exam yesterday. I didn't have an exam yesterday. Did you have an exam yesterday? Now, we are going to go to the next and the last use of have, has and had. We can also use have and has and had to talk about some actions where we talk about what we have doing every day or what we have already done. For example, I have a shower every day. It means you say that I take a bath every day. I have breakfast every day. He has breakfast every day. So here you are referring to eating. I had breakfast this morning. So you're talking about an action that you did in the morning. So have, has and had can also show actions like eating. I eat or I ate you can show with have, has and had. We had a lot of fun. So you enjoyed a lot. Instead of saying we enjoyed, you can say I had a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun every day. Or you can say we have a meeting every day. We had a meeting yesterday. So in these sentences, you are talking about what activity you had or what you did. Like for instance, I have a shower. He has a shower. I have breakfast. He has breakfast. Or she had breakfast. I had a shower. So all these words Talk about a past action. An action that you did in the past, if you're using had. An action that you do every day if you're using have and has. So, it's all very, very interesting. When you watch this video, you get a clear idea about how you should use have, has and had. And I'm sure you will pause the video whenever you have a doubt. Listen to it again and again. And also make your own sentences and practice in all its three forms. The affirmative, negative and interrogative. And very soon you'll be fluent in the use of have, has and had. It's very important because you use it all the time in your daily communication. So, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hope you learned a lot of things. And hope you'll start using them right away. So thank you very much for watching. Do like and share and subscribe to our videos and we'll come back with more. Thank you. Goodbye.